Glutathione is a very powerful antioxidant compound that we make. And one of the questions I often get asked is, how do we raise our glutathione levels naturally? In this video, I'm gonna share with you six different ways, many of them low cost or free ways, to boost your glutathione levels naturally. Let's start with what I think is the best overall way, and that is to exercise regularly. In this particular study, 80 basically non-exercising individuals were broken up into four different groups. You had a no exercise group, control group. You had an aerobic exercise group. You had a circuit weight training group where they picked like eight to 10 different exercises and they moved from exercise to exercise with a little to no rest. And then in group number four, they combined both the aerobic and the circuit strength training uh, program together. They did this for six weeks, worked out three days a week. What did they find? The biggest boost in glutathione came when the people combined both aerobic and circuit strength training together, the aerobic and the circuit strength training. Individually, they both increased glutathione levels, but when you combined them together, it was an even bigger boost. So I would say if you're looking to boost your glutathione levels, do them both. But I also want you to realize you don't need to kill yourself in the gym to raise your glutathione levels as evidenced by point number two, which is yoga. Yeah, yoga. So we've got a study here. It's a 12-week study where they have people do uh, a yoga class. What do they find? Total glutathione levels go up and they say remarkably increased after uh, people did yoga in, in this particular study. So yoga will do it, and here's another study which also showed that yoga will raise glutathione levels. Again, this is a six-month study, and they noted that the reduced form of glutathione was significantly raised. Uh, reduced is the active form of glutathione, you can think of it that way. The reduced form of glutathione is what actually goes after the free radicals. So if you like yoga, keep doing it. The next way is probably the hardest, and that's gonna be weight loss, but there is some research showing that losing weight can help boost our glutathione levels, as evidenced by this investigation involving type two diabetics, where they noticed that as these individuals' body mass index, BMI, decreased, their glutathione levels and their superoxide dismutase levels increase significantly. Superoxide dismutase, if you've not heard that before, it's another one of those uh, naturally produced antioxidant compounds that we make. Weight loss increase both glutathione and SOD, superoxide dismutase. If you like drinking green tea, that brings us to our next uh, way to boost your glutathione levels. I would say keep drinking the green tea. This is an interesting study I came across as I was doing uh, researching this video. 35 overweight people uh, are basically put on a green, they're told to drink green tea for eight weeks, do nothing, drink water for eight weeks, or they gave them a green tea supplement. And what do they find here? Lo and behold, both the green tea and interestingly enough, the green tea supplement raised glutathione levels significantly. Now, that's interesting, but I'm gonna caution you against the green tea supplement, and here's why. Several studies have noted green tea supplements in some people may not be so great on the liver. You, you don't see that with the green tea, so I point you to drink the green tea more than the supplements, or another way to do this is what I often do is take the green tea bag, cut it open, and throw it in the blender with your smoothie. You still get the benefits of the green tea there. So either way, green tea, green tea in the smoothie, I think that's gonna do a good job of your glutathione. Next up is sulfur rich food. Turns out you need the, the element sulfur to make glutathione. So if you're eating foods like cauliflower and broccoli and kale, garlic, um, they're gonna raise your glutathione levels as well. Onions I have here as well. Onions is another sulfur rich food, but I, one of the things I wanna point out to on, to, with onions to you is if you um, are peeling the onion, take note that the greatest amount of the antioxidant compounds are in the outermost layers of the onion. The more inner you go in the onion layer by layer, the lesser and lesser the antioxidant compounds are present. So so bottom line, if you're cooking with onions, make sure you include those outermost layers. And that brings us to the final way to boost your glutathione levels, and that's by taking a dietary supplement called NAC. NAC stands for N-acetylcysteine. Cysteine is a sulfur-containing amino acid. 
And remember, you need sulfur to make glutathione. There are multiple studies on the NAC supplement boosting levels, such as this one, where they actually noted that the NAC supplement replenished the glutathione in these individuals with HIV. Bottom line, uh, sidebar with the HIV thing, if you uh, are interested in that, there's another supplement out there called Black Seeds and Black Seed Oil, which are highly touted on the internet of helping HIV. I did a deep dive in that video that you want to take a look at, and I demystified that research, which is very hyped on the internet. So take a look at that. So what do you think, gang? Did it help? Hopefully I gave you some very easy peasy ways to raise your glutathione levels. If you got any questions, leave them below. Until next time, I'm Joe Cannon. Go out, be safe, and where you can, try to make a difference.